Okay, I figure I want to adapt the uh, the whistling behind the intro into guitar parts. So here's what the whistling sounds like with the melody. Hey Sonny here. Today I want to show. Uh, today I want to start showing you how to play uh, "Wind of Change" by the Scorpions. Uh, so before we talk about the so the intro to the song, let's uh, cover a couple of things here. So I'm using the RG six five two Ibanez for the intro. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the uh, second position on my uh, five way switch. Basically, what I'm doing here, I'm using uh, uh, the second position of this five-way switch. Basically, will be a split coral of both pickups. So I'm using this uh, uh, single coral, uh, this humbucker here, and a single coral, this humbucker at the bridge. So basically, I'm using this part, the bottom part of the uh, the neck pickup, and the uh, top part of this uh, bridge pickup. Those two part right here. So get that. It has that the um, cleaner, crisp sound. Uh, but you still get this uh, distortion. Kind of Jimi Hendrix like. Um, and I'll keep my volume down on the guitar. Instead of full blown at 10, I'll dial back a little bit. About halfway. Uh, also, the song is in the key of C. Uh, but the chord in the intro, you mainly have the F chord, power chord, and you have a D minor chord, a D minor bar chord here, uh, which you place your finger, the index finger over all the 10th fret, and then you use your ring finger on the 12th fret of A string, and 12th fret of the D string with pinky. So you get a D minor and also a G major. G major power chord at the 10th position, so you got 8th position, F chord, D minor, 10th chord, and also the G major. Alright, so the first part of the intro, the whole the whole intro is very Jimi Hendrix, Little Wings like uh, style. Uh, the beginning part goes like this. Alright, so uh, that's the first part. So you gotta go, you play the, uh, you can do the power chord, just a two string, uh, eight, eight, and uh, D tap. You play those two notes, and you play a little more strength. So, lightly. And when you do that part, I'm playing the 10th fret of D and G together. So. And the next part you gotta come mute, and then you play the 10th fret on the uh, D A string. You slide up to 12th fret, and then you play the 10th fret of D and G downstroke, and then upstroke on the 12th fret of D G and B, and then downstroke again on the 10th fret of A and D, and upstroke on the 12th fret on the, just the D note. So, so far it is. Now, as soon as you play that, the next part is quickly coming up here. As soon as you play, after you play the 12th fret, you gotta use your thumb ready to play the 10th fret on the uh, E string. And while you use your thumb playing the 10th fret on the E string, you will use your index finger playing the G string and the B string on the 10th fret as well, after that. So the whole thing goes like this so far. The 10th fret on the low E string is very uh, low volume, it's very light. So you can actually pick it or actually you can just hammer on. Like using my thumb. Like that. So again. So that's the first part. One more time. You hold 
for a measure, and you do it again on the. Uh, you play the eighth fret on the uh, E string, and then tenth fret of D and G together. The next part goes like this. So we got a little extra uh, chord there. So he goes, you do, it's kind of similar to what we just learned. So you go mute, and then you slide from 10th fret to 12th fret on the A string, up stroke, and then down on the 10th fret of D and G, and then up stroke on 12th fret of D, G, and B, and then down stroke again on D, G, and B on 12th fret, and pull off on 10th fret, and up stroke on 12th fret. Alright, again, we'll start from let one measure slowly. After you play that, you play the 10th fret on the uh, G string. Give a little tiny bend, like a quarter of bend. And then play the 12th fret on the D string, you kind of give it a vibrato. Alright, so far we have this, two, uh, both part together. First part. After you play that, you'll play a 10th fret on the uh, G and B, and hammer on the 12th fret. So I use basically I hammer on both strings with my ring finger. And you pick 12th fret again on G and B, and 12th fret on the D. Slide down, and play a 7th fret on the uh, D string. So, okay, so that one part goes like this. And after you play the seventh fret on the uh, D string, so you'll play uh, seventh fret again on the D and fifth fret on the G together with your my index finger. Well, once you play those two chord, two strings, you gotta hammer on your pinky to seventh fret on the G string, just like that. And while your pinky is on the seventh fret, you'll pick the seventh fret of D and G at this point. And then you pull off your pinky back to the uh, the index finger on the fifth fret. So okay, so far with this. Next part is fifth fret on the G by itself, seventh fret on the D, and then you arpeggiate on the D minor chord. Which is open D string, E1, B3, G2, and then you play the A minor seventh chord, open A string, open E string, first fret on the B string, and G open string. And personally, I use my, after that, I use my, and I play a G chord, and I use my uh, index middle finger and play the third fret on the low E string and then use my ring finger and play the third fret on the B string and then open B string open G string and then open C chord so the whole thing sounds like this So that's the whole intro. Let me start from start from slowly. Let's do it one more time. Now let's move on to talk about the, the whistling part. Uh, the, the notes are 17, 19, and 20 fret on the high E string. 
and then and then uh, let's do that again and then 22nd fret and back to 20th fret 20th fret so far next part uh, 20 22nd and 24th fret if you don't have 24th fret you will have to uh, uh, bend up with your 22nd fret of your guitar but my guitar is 24 frets so so it's 20 22 24 and I bend up back, back down and then 20 22nd again and 20th fret I'm sorry and 22nd fret on the B string and then uh, 20th fret on the B E string and then uh, 19th fret on the E string sometimes I use a 20th fret I bend up a little bit give a little, little more uh, uh, definition but it's not part of the whistle so the way I play I play it is I can just go so that's a whistling part uh, behind the, uh, the, the intro and I will cover the rest of the song in when I have a little more time maybe tomorrow or the day after and uh, thanks for watching and I hope you all had a nice weekend and see you soon